What's good with good YouTube? Back to bring you guys another video and I am sorry about the hiatus. It's officially been a week plus since my last video with travel this week, with work and everything else. I had to change the priorities up just a little bit and I had a ton of pickups coming in, ton of videos to work on. Go ahead and get one of the videos out for you today. Not a lot of time remaining, but if you guys checked out my last video, the giveaway is still active and going. It should be still going on for at least one or two days, but it's for the raffle to win a pair of Yeezys, Ultra Boost 3.0s and the Space Jam 11s. I'll have a link below, but I sincerely greatly appreciate all the new subscribers. We're getting close to 20,000. For me and being on YouTube for a while, all the new people that have came over have been totally supportive, commenting and saying really nice things. Very, very much appreciative and hopefully we can just see this channel continue to grow. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the pickups. And if you guys stick to the end of the video, as always, I will have them on feet. Halfway through January and you guys have still yet to see me upload a Ultra Boost 3.0 video. We're coming up on two years since the original Ultra Boost release and I got my first pair a little bit after All-Star Weekend. I truly really did start collecting right as the Ultra Boost came out. Pickup number one, the core black or just the black white version of the 3.0. I gotta give a big shout out to T Blake and another Twitter follower who had posted that Bloomingdale's, the shopping department, like a Macy's, a Von Mar, they had posted that these were on sale through their VIP membership, which was free, 10% off with free shipping, and then there was a code they sent you for even more. I ended up getting these for $160 shipped, $20 under retail. And just as a reference, so you guys can see, I have all three of the black colorways, the 1.0s, 2.0s, and then obviously the three. I still think the one prime knit is probably my favorite. The continental bottom is so much better. It holds up a lot better. You can tell it's definitely wearing away on this pair. Camera actually doing it just but these are way more dirty than they look. Sizing is very different. Every single Ultra Boost that I own up to this point was a size 10 and a half. As a reference, I always wear a 10 in Jordan 1s, so I always say my true to size is a 10. I always go half a size up for my Ultra Boost. The Yeezy V2s, I went up half a size, all mine are 10 and a half. I went into stores to try these on in a 10 and a half thinking they would fit perfect, and they ran huge. The toe box itself just has less material to it, which leaves more wiggle room and I think that that's why this 3.0 fits so much more loose. For me personally, I'm always going to be a fan of the silhouette and also this is like a translucent. It reminds me of the NYC public school Jordan 1s. That's like kind of how the bottom is on these. From a distance, some people had said that it doesn't really look like it shows up. Let me know down below of all of the three different versions, which Ultra Boost you guys prefer the most. We've only seen two different types of soles on a Ultra Boost, so who knows if they're going to switch that up in years to come. Are they're going to continue to pay out for Continental to be on the bottom for the rubber. For the second pickup, Thursday, there was another Adidas drop for Ultra Boost, and I was not able to grab them. I don't even know how it happened, but Sunday I was just randomly on Twitter. Somebody had posted an Adidas link for the Ultra Boost that had dropped, and I just randomly clicked it, continued to refresh the page, thinking that since it was showing up on the site that we actually might have got sizes in or it was getting ready to drop, I was really close to giving up. I just happened to hit it one more time and I got my size in my cart, checked it out, no problem. And if that wasn't more clear, the Trace Cargo colorway that dropped. To me, by far, this is the best colorway that has dropped of the 3.0 versions. I was a big fan of the Chinese New Year's, but this to me is a much more wearable colorway. Glad that I did not have to pay resale for. Grail status to most. You guys can see the difference in the colors. It's definitely noticeable. You can see up here how it's a much darker and then it actually fades. The colors are a little bit more resembling together, but still they're completely different shades of green. I believe when the 3.0 with the gum bottom releases, that is more of what this color will be. We'll have to wait and see how similar these are to those when they drop later on this year. I honestly have no idea how I got lucky again. Nobody posted links about it restocking. Somebody actually retweeted a tweet from Thursday, which made me click on it. And I was shocked to see the picture still on there. I honestly thought it was just going to get canceled or they were going to tell me there was a mistake. The sample version of these did look a lot different. The actual cage material itself was 
was a different material. I don't even know honestly what you want to call it, but I will show a picture of it. But honestly, that means absolutely nothing to me. Much bigger fan of what the actual heel cup looks like and the material that they used back here. It's just the little things that they can do without changing up the silhouette that can make this shoe look so much better. We're going to see a bunch of different materials and different looks to the heel cup for the rest of 2017. And again, a 10. So both of these, I have already slipped these on, so they do fit exactly like the black and white one. Very weird to have all of my Ultra Boost be 10 and a half, and so far my only two 3.0s, both 10. I will put these both on feet so you guys can see what they look like. Let me know which 3.0 you're looking forward to for 2017. Truly have three more videos I need to get up and get going for this weekend. Once again, thank you to all the new subscribers and all of the people who have been here since day one. It truly means a lot that you guys would take time out of your day to watch my videos. So please believe me when I say I genuinely appreciate and always enjoy answering your guys' comments. However, that's going to do it for today. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.